There are five important details that you must know on your new Subaru. In today's video, I'm gonna uncover all of those details. If you guys have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoy this video and get value out of it, please remember to click the like button. That helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on super related topics just like this one. So if you enjoy those types of videos, consider clicking the subscribe button down below. Today we are looking at a 2023 Outback. And one of the first things that you should know is something that many of us oftentimes forget until we need it. And that is how to pop the hood. It's a simple thing, but if you're frantic in a moment where maybe your battery has died and you need to get under the hood to jumpstart, you wanna know where it's located. So on a Subaru, it's down here, the lower left, you'll see the little icon of the hood release. You pull this lever, it releases, you hear it pop, we'll go around. And just below here, just below the, or just above the Subaru logo, you'll see a lever up in here. You will push that over to the side. Let's see if I can get this with one hand. And that will release. So there's a lever right there. And mine doesn't have the, uh, the prop all on its own. You actually have to pull it down from up here. So you just release the prop right there, put it down, and that will hold it up for you while you access your battery or whatever you need down below here. The second one is a really important one because if you don't know this or where it's at, you're not gonna be able to drive your car for very long or at least until you run out of gas. And that is where is your gas tank release lever. This one does not have a release lever. Most of your modern Subarus do not. If it does, you'll see it down below there. And the way you open it is you go around to the passenger rear and you tap on this door and that will prop open. Now, if your door is locked, so I'll go ahead and lock my door. If your door is locked, this will lock as well, just as a uh, anti-theft feature so people are not stealing your gas. So there's a little pin that goes in right there. So you'll see it when you lock it, that pin comes out and goes right in there. Another nice bit of information to know about your gas tank is something that'll help you remember what side your gas tank is on, especially if you drive a car now that has the gas tank on the driver's side. When you look on the gas gauge, you'll see a little picture of a gas tank and an arrow to the right that's telling you that your gas tank is on the right side. Now that's not just a Subaru feature, that's something that has been on cars for quite some time now, I believe well over a decade, and something I actually only recently in probably the last five years realized existed. And I've driven cars for going on uh, about 15 years now. So don't feel bad if you didn't know that. I'm embarrassed to admit, but I didn't know that either. The third detail that I wanna show you guys about that you should know on your new Subaru is how to access and control your radio and save presets so you're not having to struggle using this dial to tune in to a specific station each time you turn on your car. So whether you have this a large 11.6 inch touchscreen display or the smaller seven and eight inch displays, depending on the Subaru model you have, you will have an app that says radio or a button. You tap that and it's gonna show you a display that looks like this. You're gonna see FM, AM and Sirius satellite stations. Down below here, you will see tiles. Now, there are 18 total tiles. These allow you to save presets and I've got a few here, but I'll give you an example. We'll just tune over to one of our local stations and one that we don't already have preset. You click and hold, it beeps, and now that is saved. So whenever I turn my car off, that station will be preset for me and I can quickly tap here without having to go over here and scroll the tune dial. The fourth thing you should know is how to connect your phone to your car. And I'll show you here in just a moment some of the benefits to that. We're not talking about Bluetooth, we're talking about through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you have a 2023 and newer Subaru model, most of those have wireless connectivity. But if you don't, if you have an older Subaru model, you have this plug and play option for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I believe goes back as far as 2018 in certain models. So with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have the ability to mirror your apps up on the display, like navigation, music apps, 
phone call apps, and even messaging apps. So one key benefit to this is even if you don't have navigation on your car, you can still have it through your phone and mirrored up on the display, easy for you to view while driving. To connect your phone wirelessly, click on this icon on the lower right-hand portion of the screen. We're gonna click on add, and by the way, this will work for both Android and Apple devices. It's a very similar process. You're going to click on the settings app in your phone, go to Bluetooth, and then look for the device name. The device name will be located up here on the top. We're gonna to look for that, we click that, we're gonna click Outback, pair, it takes just a second here. We're gonna sync up our contacts and everything, so when we do hands-free calling, it'll display that person's name. It'll ask you if you wanna use Apple CarPlay. Make sure you click on Use CarPlay, otherwise it won't mirror. Click on Yes. And you can add it as a favorite. If you add the phone as a favorite, it's gonna prioritize that one. So you'll see here in just a moment, we'll have more than one device connected and it'll, it'll always connect the favorited device. So here is one of the main benefits, having your navigation displayed. You have your music app for Spotify, Pandora, YouTube music, Apple music, whatever you might use, hands-free phone calls. If you tap on this lower left-hand portion of the screen, little apps there, you can, toggle over to other apps as well. You, you don't have to use just your Apple Maps, you can use Google Maps, you can use Waze even, whatever you have downloaded there on your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and add a second device just to show you guys what this looks like if you have more than one phone connected. You go through the same process here, click on add. After you go through the same process, you'll see more than one device here. And if you wanna switch between the two, you just simply tap on the phone you want to connect. And we're gonna use CarPlay, so we tap that takes just a few seconds and it switches over to the other person's phone. This next one is arguably probably one of the most important bits of information to know on your new Subaru, and that is because it has to do with your maintenance and longevity of your car. So we're gonna click on the home button here. We're gonna click on car info and maintenance. So this gets you into a screen where you can set maintenance reminders for your oil changes, your tire rotations, or just general maintenance schedules. Your oil changes due every 6,000 miles or every six months, whichever comes first. I just got my oil change today. So you just go in here whenever you get an oil change. If your service center doesn't already do it, you click this little gear icon. And for me, I drive, unfortunately, a lot more miles, uh, a lot more than 6,000 miles every six months. So I don't do the notification by date. I do it strictly by mileage. You just click on, like say for example, you go in here and there's only 100 miles left because you can manually select it. Say there's only 100 miles left till your next oil change. If you click update, it resets it back to the factory recommended interval, which is the 6,000 miles. So now we click back out of that and you see it's still there. Another cool feature to be aware of related to your maintenance and just general connectivity with your car is through the My Subaru app. So the My Subaru app, I've talked about this on previous videos on my channel, but this is something that allows you to remotely connect to your car to run vehicle diagnostics to see if something is going wrong with your car. It'll send you notifications. I get it from time to time on my tire pressure sensors because I live in an area that has high construction. So I pick up, I seem to pick up nails all the time. And so every once in a while, I'll get a notification that one of my tire one of my tires are low. And so just something as simple as that, it will notify you through the app on your phone, but also you have the convenience of using that app for remote access to remotely start your car, to adjust your climate controls, and even locate the car if you need to do so. And you can lock and unlock the doors if you maybe forget to lock them before you leave. I hope you guys have found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please remember to click the like button. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.